man. I'm feeling great right now. Um, my feet are well. Um, I'm in the process of getting in shape. So, uh, I mean, everything's good. Everything's positive right now, and that's the way it should be. You must be almost in shape. You look really fit. You look good. Like I said, I'm in the process, so <laughs> I'm trying. What was the target that you're trying to accomplish in terms of doing this? Um, you know, I'm going to get lighter than any of my previous years. Uh, you know, the pace of the game has picked up a lot, so, you know, I got to be ready for that. Also, uh, you know, my role changes a lot for Team USA, so I got to be a guy that's really getting up and down. So I'm also trying to prepare my body for that. So uh, just just preparing for what's coming up next. Just part of that, you come down to the feet or ankles? Um, that's, that's also part of it, uh, a lot. A lot less pressure on my feet, so uh, it's, it's just something that I'm trying to, you know, it's a new tactic I'm looking to, you know, try to prevent this uh, foot injury. So as of right now, it's been great. It's been working out well. The uh, treatments on my feet went well. So uh, just like I said, in the process of getting in shape, man. Can you explain what that treatment is like and just how reassuring it was knowing that you could you do that without having surgery? Uh, it's, it's almost like. I'm basically getting my my feet electrocuted, so uh, that's that's basically what it was. Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of painful, but I mean you kind of get a relief like right away. So I went through I would say four sessions of that, and it's been pretty well so far. Before doing that, did you think that it was going to be? Gosh, I'm going to have to get this cut open to fix. Oh no, okay. I'm, I'm I'm never trying to go through a surgery. If there's any way of, you know, besides doing surgery, I'm, I'm all for it. So I'm not trying to do a surgery. The word was flying around last week that you told you had a spot. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that the case? For now? It is. Yeah. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Uh, you know, I've, I've always wanted to be on the Olympic team. Uh, I finally got the chance. So, you know, I'm honored. I'm happy. And I can't wait to play. What was that phone call like? Uh... <laughs> You know, it's like it's like the big boss man calls you. Uh, when Jerry calls you, you know, it's super quiet at first. Then you get his deep voice. You know, but it it, it was cool. Uh, you know, he, he kind of told me what he expected from me. Told me what he needed from me. And um, you know, regular conversation with Jerry. It's something you wanted so much. Did it feel like a sense of accomplishment once you got that call? I mean, honestly, I kind of. I knew I, I expected it this year. Uh, I mean, I've been through the process enough to know how it kind of goes, and I mean, I knew it was happening. It was just you know a matter of time before I got that phone call, so uh, it was kind of expected. What are you going to make phone calls yourself, trying to talk to other guys and become the player? Uh, need be. Uh, as of right now, no. I I think they they have a plan. Uh, you know, a lot of guys are up in age, some guys, you know, for other reasons, but uh, I'm sure they have a, a plan, and I mean, that's not really my job. Coach Nagel, did you talk to, to him at all? I just, left the, I just left the gym. So, uh, I talked to Coach, uh, you know, regular coach and player talking to him. <laughs> Nothing special. When you uh, see so many guys dropping off the team, I say, and obviously it's something you wanted. Is there any concern in your mind when to, to go back to go there? It's, it's always concerns, but uh, I mean, we, we're having our own issues in America, so I, you know, I, it's, it is what it is. Uh, I feel I'm very protected. Uh, not really concerned. And if it's meant to happen, it'll happen. So. Historically, you've had to play a different role. When you have so many guys that are kind of dropping off, do you think you can play a scoring role on that team still? Uh, I don't really know what my role is. Right? I mean, I know what it was, you know, in previous years. I don't really know how to be this year, but I mean, I think I feel like your role changes, you know, every year for that team. So, uh, I mean, whatever, it, whatever it takes, whatever I'm needed to uh, do on the team, that's what I'm gonna do. I've seen photos of you and Jaeger uh, hitting golf balls and hanging out. Uh, are you guys bonding? Are you building something? Trying to get that sort of rolling early? Not really. I think we get too caught up in the, you know, bonding and being great friends. And I mean, we talked about that. It's not about that. It's, it's about being on the same page. It's about having the same goal. It's about, you know, coming out and doing what's best for the team. And, I mean, we communicated that. And, and we're on the same page. We know what it's, you know, what it's, what's it going to take. What's, this, what's 
what it's gonna take, you know, to you know try to have a successful season this year. So it's, it's not about friendships and kumbaya and all that. We're here, to, we're here to play basketball and we're here to make it work. That's it. How excited are you for this upcoming season with all of the new stadium I mean, and everything else? I'm extremely excited. Uh, I feel I'm, I'm very confident this is going to be our year, and uh, this is the year we turn it around. So I'm excited for this year. I'm excited for the season. So I can't wait for the season. So, so I think this is going to be a good year. What gives you the most optimism? Hmm? What gives you the most optimism? So much positivity in there. Positive vibe. That's it. You got a pick for the finals? You've been watching it? I don't really have a pick. Uh, I think it's been a good final so far. Best man to win. What do you think of just some of the antics that have kind of gone on? And, you know, I, I imagine you tend to put yourself in their shoes at times to see how that might have gone your way. And... <laughs> Head scratcher, maybe? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> That's all you got. Yeah, that's all I got. If a guy walked over you, I mean, that is a sign of disrespect, is it not? It happens. <laughs> what kind of changes to the roster are you expecting? Have you talked to a lot of, uh, do you have any conversations about the draft or who they might target? I don't know anything about the roster. Uh, I'm waiting just like everybody else, so uh, we'll see. I don't know. Who had more range ball? Uh, hit more range cards. You were or Dave. Yeah. You were aiming for the range for the, the for the big part out in the range. Who hit the cart more? Said it again. Who, who, who hit when, the when you're at the range with Dave, who hit the? Oh, I kill coach. I'm I'm not that bad actually. <laughs> I'm not that bad. <laughs> you feel you're at an age you can pick it up now and possibly uh almost threw my back out a couple of times, but uh I think once I get the basics down, I'll be pretty good. Are you better than Charles already? I believe so. I saw Charles swing. It was, it was pretty awful. My first time swing was not that bad. It's got to be hard to work with Charles. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Did any of you hit the cart, though? Cart? I got down into the, uh, the trenches, so that's as far as it can go. So. I was talking about the cart that was picking up all the balls. You guys look like you're Oh, no, 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 no. No, not that cart, no. <laughs> You said you're optimistic about the season. I'm not sure I've asked you this question in the summer, at least a couple of times. Do you get the sense that this is truly a new start and things headed in the right direction? I really do. Um, I think we made a, you know enough mistakes in our past to learn from it. Um, I think we're all starting to figure it out, like from top to bottom, and you know, what's really required to make this thing work. So yeah, I think we're at that stage now, and now it's just putting the pieces together and moving forward. You see any familiar faces here, kids-wise, that are kind of return campers? I haven't ran into the kids yet. Uh, they're on break right now, so uh, I'm sure I will. What's it like to be a, a coach at one of these camps and interact with these kids? It's, it's great. Uh, I mean, just a chance to see some of these kids, you know, just like grow up through the years. Uh, it's been kids since, you know, the first year I held them. You know, you know it's fun to be a part of their life, see them grow up, interact with them throughout their life, actually hold relationships with them, you know, throughout their life. So it's, it's a fun experience. Oh, given some of the shooting tragedies that have been in the area, whether it be in your brand, just kind of things that are going on. Do you kind of feel like when you're able to come here for a couple of days and do something like this, you're going to build the kids up and give them something. Absolutely. It, it, and it's, it's a bad situation. Uh, you, you, hate to, you, you hate to lose a life in general, but especially a young kid. Um, I mean, this camp is also a part of that. It, it's also showing them, like, you don't have to live that life. You don't have to You don't have to be involved in those type of activities. It's, it's, it's a lot of opportunity out there. It's just about believing in yourself and going out and doing it. And, uh, I mean, I hate that it happened. Uh, it's just, it's, just, it's just a bad situation. Those things shouldn't be happening. I think we should all step up and try to, you know, prevent those situations from continuing to happen. So I believe it's on us as adults, as, as leaders of the community. We, we have to step up and help these kids. Is it, is it fun to, you know, kind of look up there and know that you, you know, you brought those those LED boards to this school to try to refurbish this gym a little bit? It's, it's not about that. Uh, it's about, like I said, it's helping these kids, uh, giving them a better situation. That's all it's about. Thanks. Sorry.